Hey guys, welcome back to the vlog. Um, it is Saturday morning. I think it's March 27th or something like that. Um, I actually just uploaded my vlog from last weekend today, so I'll have that link down below if you guys haven't seen it yet. Um, it's my first weekend in quarantine. Actually, that was my second weekend in quarantine. This is my third weekend in quarantine. I'm still at my mom's house and I'm just like really struggling this week. I don't know, I feel like really incomplete. I think it's kind of sunk in like I'm gonna be here for a little bit and like I have none of my clothes. I hate that my apartment is just like sitting idly in New York. Like, I don't know, I just feel like really unsettled. So I didn't wanna do this because I didn't wanna like surrender to staying here but I still have all of my clothes in my suitcase over here. So I'm just gonna sit, fold them, put them away in my closet, hopefully to kind of make me feel a little bit more at peace. And I also think it's really hard not being in my normal space. I just kind of feel unsettled. Like I'm not in my space. Like I can't even make my videos look beautiful and in my own setting for you guys because I'm not in my real apartment and in my real space. So anyways, I just feel kind of uneasy. So I'm going to put the clothes away. Hopefully that'll make me feel a little bit better. I also have like only leggings and sweatpants because when I packed, I didn't know that I was going to be here for three to four weeks. I thought I was just going to come for a few days to kind of chill and then go back to the city. So I don't think I'm going to do, I'm definitely not doing that. So I feel like I need to like order some clothes, some more tops, maybe like a pair of jeans or something to come to my mom's house. So just so I have some stuff to like wear and get ready with throughout this time or I need to like go back to New York grab some stuff from my apartment and then come back I don't know I need to do something though because I literally can't keep living in the same leggings and sweatshirt it's like making me feel like shit um so anyways that's enough of that I'm going to put the, these clothes away watch Julia and Hunter because they're my favorite youtubers pretty much ever so f at this moment in life and they've been uploading so much and I just haven't been watching because I don't know, I've just felt like I can't watch my normal content. I don't know, I'm in this really weird headspace. So anyways, I'm gonna sit, watch Julia and Hunter, put away my clothes, and then I will get back to you guys. to make nachos because that's something that I'm personally missing a lot because I love nachos. They're my favorite food ever. So to make the nachos, I'm going to be using a combo of these chips, the late July sea salt, no grain, and a few of these jalapeno lime. I have the chips. I need to grate up some cheese. We have mozzarella and cheddar, which my mom says she usually uses on nachos. I don't know what kind of cheese they normally use on nachos, but like, we're gonna do that. Then I have pickled red onion that we made, some chicken that actually was made with some pico, so it's like in the vibe, and we're gonna do that. And then we also have cilantro, which I'll obviously add on top because I love cilantro. Mom, do we have sour cream? No sour cream, so we won't be doing that. But that's also something that I love. Oh, we have yogurt though. I could put a little yogurt on with some um, lemon, lime. And that'll be like the same thing. Okay, so let's grate the cheese and get to making nachos. Probably, I'm gonna be really happy if these are really good because like I said, I love nachos. They look, they look so good. Look at this, yum. Okay, now I'm just gonna eat it right out of here. I'm gonna do limes, pickled red onion, and then our makeshift sour cream. Look pretty damn good. I made more granola this morning. 
You're and insane. Two other kinds. Oh my gosh, what kind? Like um, an orange cherry. Oh my god, yum. Is that that one? Mm -hmm. Can I taste? Doing a taste test. I'm very proud of myself. Not as good as Fiddlesticks in the West Village, which is my absolute favorite place to get nachos ever. And certainly not as good as the nachos they used to have at Emily, but they took them off the menu for some reason. But these are, these are good for homemade. All right guys, some updates. We have some projects in the works. Me and my mom are making homemade Samoas, like the Girl Scout cookies. We already made the base, which I forgot to film, but here are the base of the cookies. And then over here, we have the caramel part. We're just waiting for the timing to be right to start them. And we have our chocolate over here, our coconuts ready over here. So we're kind of in the middle of this, but while, but the reason we're not doing it right now is because my mom is doing a project over here in the bar area of the house. She's redoing parts of her house. So this used to be the dining room, but now she's turning it into her bar area. So she's putting up these lights around these shelves where all the alcohol is gonna go. Here she is putting up her lights. She ordered yep, them on Amazon. LED strips. So she was having me cut out this tape and rip the red part off so that she can stick the lights around the, um, like the molding of the shelves. So once she's done with that, we're gonna put all of this alcohol away and restock the bar. Then, we're going to finish our cookies and then we're gonna make martinis and have dinner. So I'm gonna look up a recipe for martinis once we are ready to make them. I want mine like super, super dirty with lots of olive juice and olives in it. So that's kind of what we're working on right now. But once we start putting the alcohol back in the bar area, I'll show you what it looks like while we're doing it and what it looks like after because I like watching people do stuff like that. And then of course, We'll show you the cookies and our martini recipe once we figure out what that is. So that's what we're doing right now. Down, down, down. But tell me if you are. Now, now, now. Let's not make it hard. I know that this drives you crazy. Okay, we're on the final step of the cookies, which we have to add the chocolate. Here's where we're at right now. This is the coconut. Here's the base of the cookie. So we're almost done. Also, I decided to make an Aperol spritz instead of a martini because it sounded better and it's easier and I love Aperol spritz. So here we are. Next step for the cookies is we have to melt the chocolate. Mom, should you do it in the microwave or on the stove top? Helpful. Very helpful. So helpful. I can tell it time. It's time. Pull you close. Your body next to mine. Hey, I know that this drives you crazy. I know that you feel alone. I know that you act up because you feel so. I know that you're feeling something. I know that this could be love. I know that you ain't so trusting, but I feel so. Let's just take this back for a minute. For a minute, we can make this what we've been living. We've been living, and I know you hurt as well, darling. We can be ourselves. Just take this back. Okay guys, put on pajamas and here's our cookies. They're finished. They're actually really, really delicious. Um, I'll link the recipe that we used down below, but they look amazing. They taste amazing. The only issue is that the chocolate melts really easily. So they're really messy, but they're really good. It's a fun project. I'm gonna go upstairs and learn a new song on the piano because I'm kind of over blank space. I never really liked that song in the first, like I do like that song, but 
It's not my favorite. Right now I have White Horse stuck in my head, so I might go upstairs and learn White Horse. Or maybe Forever and Always. So, at the end of this vlog, like I did with the last vlog, I will play what I learned this weekend for you guys. My mom's washing the dishes, so excuse the noise. Uh, that's it. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Hey guys, it's Sunday, 1.30 p.m. Honestly, didn't do much today yet. Woke up at like 11. Um, then me and my mom drove to my grandparents' house and we talked to them for a little bit from our car, then from their um, door. It was very cute. And I got home and I have two packages from Amazon. I already disinfected them, but I'm still scared to touch them. So, I ordered um, tie-dye stuff and two pairs, two sets of white sweatpants and sweatshirts to tie-dye because I've been seeing everywhere all of these tie-dye sweatsuits and I wanted to do them but I figured might as well make an activity out of it and it just seems like everyone in quarantine is tie-dyeing so I figured it would be fun. So here it is. This is the tie-dye kit that I got. Let's let's spray it. It's kind of open. Okay, so here's the tie-dye set. It was like 13 bucks. Um, comes with gloves. Oh, those could also be handy for quarantine. Um, gloves, 15 bottles of pre-measured dye, rubber bands, and plastic table cover. So should be fun. Has like a wide variety of colors. So I'm excited about it. I wanted it because I like, I like the light pink and like the lime vibes, so should be fun. And then let's open this one, which I think are the sweatshirts. Yeah, the sweatpants were gonna take a little bit longer to get here. So let's see. Okay, so I got a white hoodie. And then I got a crew neck. From Hanes. And this is also an extra large. Ooh, that's really good and big. So those are the white sweatshirts that I got. I also have sweatpants coming, so I'm not gonna tie-dye until I have all of my elements. But now I'm going to deeply wash my hands, um, put this stuff in a different room, and then make some breakfast or like my first meal of the day because I'm starving and I haven't eaten yet. Hello guys, it is now Monday um, afternoon. It's 1.15, woke up around nine, um, started some work. In the morning, had some meetings. Now I'm finally have a break to get ready for the day. I woke up a little bit late this morning. That's why I didn't have time to get ready before I started working from home. Um, so I'm just gonna put on some makeup and I put on an outfit to make me feel productive and good. So I'm just gonna put on a little bit of my isolation makeup that I've been doing, which is really, really simple. Um, just kind of makes me feel a little bit more put together. Um, I wanted to work out this morning, but I did not because I slept. So I'm going to work out at 5, and it's going to be awesome. I actually recorded my first virtual episode yesterday with my cousin Maya, who's in med school. So we talked all about her experience with that and how she's doing and like a little bit of her opinion on COVID-19. So I think it'll be a fun episode. I have to edit that today. So I finally am getting my schedule kind of moving. Um, I also signed up for a free free a free trial of Pel I can't speak. I signed up for a 90 day free trial of Peloton today. I don't have a Peloton but my mom does have a stationary bike like an old school stationary bike in her basement so I think I can try to like makeshift a good cycling class in there um, but they also have a bunch of other workouts on their app like strength workouts, mat workouts, stuff like that that you guys can do during this quarantine. I like, I also love how people say this quarantine, like there's gonna be more of these. 
hopefully not or like how there have been more <laughs> we've experienced this in the past like we have not there's a bunch of exercises you guys can do on there for this time when you're at home so I'm going to try out one of those this week but today at five I'm gonna do the class which I love and I just think will be a really good start to my workout week um I gotta go to the store so I gotta suit up for that I'll show you guys what we get at the grocery store when we come back because everybody loves a grocery haul i actually feel really good today i feel very motivated and i feel you know like last night on sunday the social distancing timeline was extended until the end of april april by trump which i mean i expected anyways i think if you didn't expect that like you're probably not paying so much attention to what's happening like it was pretty obvious that we were not going to be back up and running by april 16th i think he wanted or april 12th i don't know whenever easter is i'm jewish so i don't know um i think it was pretty obvious we weren't going to be up and running by then so to me the end of april seems like a realistic timeline a lot of people think that's very optimistic a lot of people also think that that is relatively um realistic so i don't know but i feel pretty good today i feel like motivated and good and it really helped me to put a ton of stuff on my calendar so I actually started going through my calendar putting in workouts putting in recording days putting in different recipes that I want to try in my calendar to give me some sort of structure so that really helped and I think um, will do me will do me good in the next couple weeks so that's it for now like I said just doing my makeup I also am excited because I ordered a ton of clothes off of Nasty Gal yesterday and I express shipped them. I was like, F it. I haven't bought anything in weeks because I've been staying with my mom. So I'm going to express ship this to my house so I can enjoy some new clothes to one, make me feel better and two, so I can have some actual clothing to wear throughout the day and throughout the weeks because I've been living in leggings and sweatpants. And it just really doesn't feel good. I want to wear real clothes and put on cute outfits and do my hair and makeup and feel proud of how I look even though I'm in the house. I just think that's helpful for my mental health. So I have some clothes coming, which I guess I'll do a haul video, which I think will be fun. Um, so yeah, that's it for my makeup. As you can see, it's very easy and quick. I just pretty much put on a little bit of mascara, a little bit of like BB cream or a tinted moisturizer, and some concealer and blush. Very easy, I just wanted to look a little bit more presentable. Um, I also am just gonna put a little bit of bronzer here for like a nose contour. And that is pretty much it, that's the update. Um, yes, I will talk to you guys when we get back from the grocery store and I'll show you guys what we got. My hair looks so weird. You guys know when you like first wash your hair and it's just like too clean and it doesn't do anything that you want it to do. That's where I'm at right now. So it is now Tuesday. I'm really sorry you guys. Um, so it's now Tuesday, it's Tuesday morning, 10.30. I just woke up probably like an hour ago and really my morning routine right now, um, maybe I'll do like a quarantine morning routine video if you guys wanna see that. I basically jump out of bed right before I have to start work, make my coffee really quickly, put on some really good, feel good music. This morning I listened to Rascal Flatts cause I was just feeling that today. Um, Put on some really good music, drink my coffee, and get started on work. I also created this standing desk for myself. Basically, I just have this, like, my mom has this, like, old chest of drawers that she used to have in her room, now in my brother's room. So I put this, like, organization box that has, like, little compartments in it. Um, she like, keeps her stuff on top, and then I have my computer on top of here. So I have, like, a standing desk situation because I'm sitting around all day. So I figured... Should probably try to make a standing desk and it's worked out pretty well so oh 
Oh my god, my nasty gal stuff is coming today. That's so fucking exciting. I did go to the store yesterday with my mom, but I didn't do a grocery haul for you guys because it was a little bit of an overwhelming experience. Like we had to go to the store and then you have to like social distance from everyone and then you have to go home and disinfect everything. And it was just kind of like a long process to like go to the store and then get everything put away and like move everything into the house. Like you just have to be so careful with how you touch everything and stuff. So I didn't actually get a chance to film a grocery haul because it was just like an overwhelming experience. Um, so didn't do that. And then after that, I... Um, <laughs> After we went to the grocery store, I finished up some work. I did a workout via the class, which I showed you guys in my last vlog. And then I just made some dinner and FaceTimed some friends and went to sleep. So that was really it for yesterday. But today should be a fun day. I have work to do, obviously. And then also today I have to edit my podcast with Maya, my cousin, which I recorded on Sunday. And that should be up for you guys on Bitch Work probably tomorrow so you guys can keep a look at if so by the time this video is uploaded that podcast will already be live so you can check it out I'll have it linked down below but this one's like kind of a bitch to edit because I had her record her audio in her house and I had my audio recorded so I have to like um cut out each time one of us talks over each other because we couldn't get like perfect audio via FaceTime so I just had her record her voice on her phone so I have to like match both audio files so that makes sense. So that's what's going on today. I'm just going to continue doing some work and I'll catch up with you guys in a little bit. Hey guys, just finished up work. So it's like six o'clock. I'm honestly starving, so I'm gonna make dinner. I did switch out my white crew neck sweatshirt for a black crew neck sweatshirt because I was organizing my room and I put all of my tie-dye stuff over there ready to do another day. Um, I'm gonna make dinner now though. I'm like starving. I'm gonna have salmon and veggies. Very simple, but very hard. You were my biggest fear and then you watch me run out. Of all the right things to say, still finding reasons to stay with you. Give you a call because I needed a ride and never thought I'd be with you in your passenger side. And now we're driving downtown. Baby, you make me feel young like I just turned 21. veggies in the oven and here's my salmon I just have chili lime seasoning on it from Trader Joe's and some salt I'm gonna put it in the oven at 375 for 12 to 16 minutes let's check on our veggies I did Brussels sprouts carrots green beans and corn like a good spring mix I'm super hungry okay so I put on a little bit of makeup because I'm gonna film something later, but this is my dinner. It's the salmon on the veggies. It looks really yummy, but I'm gonna make a really quick sauce that my mom taught me how to make, and it's really yummy. She's making popcorn. So it's this really yummy um, yogurt sauce. So essentially you just take whole milk yogurt. This is Siggy's. I'm gonna do like a dollop of that. Use the popcorn sounds. <laughs> and then you take the almond butter turmeric salad dressing from Trader Joe's and add a little bit of that. Then some sriracha. And then just salt and pepper. It's so good and it tastes good on everything especially veggies. And then you just pour it. Oba. And there it is. Yum. Okay, here's the final product for dinner. Looks delicious. Really excited to eat. And yum. Good morning, guys. It's Tuesday morning, 9 a.m. Um, woke up like an hour ago. I'm on my second cup of coffee, so I just figured I would show you guys 
how I make my coffee, kind of inspired by Julia and Hunter, who I'm obsessed with. I watch their videos all the time and they always show how they make their coffee in the morning. So here we go. My mom has this fancy, fancy coffee machine. It does espresso coffee, lattes, cappuccinos, all that stuff in the machine. But I'm gonna do iced coffee today. I've been really into iced coffee just because it's April 1st. So why not bring out the iced? So I hit espresso twice. And it makes two shots of espresso. I just do it in a mug. Yeah, there's some leftover coffee in this from my first cup. So I just do the Khalifa Farms unsweetened almond milk. I really like this one. Fill the glass up with almond milk. We're gonna tie dye today. I'm really excited. Okay, so our espresso's done. And I just take the espresso To the almond milk. Mm. That's how I like it. So good and simple. Guys, oh. we are outside. We are tie dyeing. I have my wet sweatsuits here and um, I'm starting, I have two sweatsuits and I'm excited for what I'm gonna do. So I'm starting with one that's a crew neck and I'm going to go for this nebula design that I found on Pinterest. So basically the way you tie dye, I'm sure you guys have all tie dyed before, is you tie up the shirt and then you dye it. So this says to get this effect, um, with your fingers, scrunch and wrinkle the fabric, gathering it into a tight disc. Scrunch and wrinkle the fabric. Okay. end of the vlog I'm a little bit not concerned but one of them I just did plain purple I think that one's gonna be really cute and then another one I wanted to do like yellow and pink and it just ended up looking like McDonald's for some reason like pink looks red so it really looked like McDonald's and then I was like fuck I should have done this like white and gray that would have been really cute but I have the tie-dye set still so if that one ends up looking really shitty. I can just order more sweats on Amazon and try again. Um, but I think the purple one's gonna end up being really cute. So, while I was tie-dyeing, the second part of my nasty gal order came in. So I'm going to look at the stuff that I got um, and give you guys a little preview, but I am going to be doing a um, a haul, I guess. Yeah, I guess. I'm gonna do a haul of these. So I got this cute sweatshirt. Oh, this is very big. Cute though, but like so large. Oh, you know, it's an oversized hoodie and I got it in a large. But like, this is gonna be really comfy. 
I actually got it to match with these sweatpants, but these are a little bit darker, but that's okay. Um, this is on the back. Cool. Hopefully, I'll, it'll shrink a little bit. What else did I get here? Got a lot of stuff. This is definitely not what I ordered. But like that could be useful, but that's that's for sure not what I ordered. Okay, yeah, I don't want these. I have I have no use for these. This is not what I ordered. So that's disappointing. Um, I'm gonna have to send those back. I ordered like a thick square neck crop. We have some just plain black and white t-shirts, trouser pants, and then these. Really fun, bright orange pants. They look really, really orange on this camera right now, but they're not this like neon color really cute and it comes with a belt but I will probably never wear this belt so okay that's that and I will see you guys when I finish my tie-dye and then we'll finish off the vlog okay guys good morning Thursday morning I finished tie-dyeing here is what one of the sweatsuits looks like this is the one that I was scared was gonna look like McDonald's it actually looks very cute and the dye is very subtle um, I really, really like it. I actually think I'm going to add more tie-dye to this today. Just because the sweatshirt is primarily white, the sweatpants actually look really good. This leg is awesome. This leg needs a little bit more. So I think I'm going to go in and add like an orange color to this. Um, but I think they came out really cute. So I'm going to go ahead and go in this a second time and try to add a little bit more color. And then here is the purple one. So the purple one actually also turned out super cute. Well, here is the hoodie and here are the sweatpants. I'm also gonna add more to this one. I think I'm going to add like a nice gray to it. So it'll be like a cool purple gray situation, but as you can see, like a lot of the fabric isn't dyed, which is totally fine. I like the more subtle look, but I'm just gonna add a little bit more because why not? This is supposed to be fun and it doesn't matter. So those are those. These are these. I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. I also woke up with a huge pimple on my face this morning, which is super fun. I hope you all enjoyed this vlog. I'm going to start another one today, and I'm also going to film a haul video today, so that's all going to be coming up really, really soon. And this video will be going live today, on Thursday. So I hope you guys have a happy Friday, and I will see you over the weekend with a haul video. You can definitely expect that. Bye!